Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Ascending Tide DLC. I'm back on my stamp code this time. Still with Reliquin on the body. One killed, one slime core, and advanced new Kida front bar. And back bar, what else? The Mars from Perfected Great Sword. Alternative setups instead of advanced new Kida. Still Kinras, almost similar DPS, or Zogwin. Instead of the Miles of Perfected Greatsword, you could still use the Black Ops Prison Daggers or even the Miles from Bow. And instead of Reliquin, Barzas is possible here or Draugrin's Grip. And instead of Kilt, if you don't have access to mythic items, just use Kiana's Monster Set or Stormfist. Skills wise, Barb Trap, Stalking Blast Bones on a Stamina Necromancer, yes, since all of your abilities scale with your highest offense to start, in this case weapon damage, we can use magic abilities, Stalking Blast Bones deals 2-3k to 3K more than the Stamina Morph, Stamina Morph will be probably still better in PvP for Major Defy, but PvE, the Magic Morph better than Deadly Cloak, Detonating Siphon, and Camouflage Hunter, just slotted for Major Savagery. And the Slayer passive. Floor Stormbreaker, same stuff, just slotted for Slayer. Backbar Stampede. Calf. For shorter fights, you could probably swap Calf for something else, like Caltrops. Then Avid Boneyard. Degeneration. Skeletal Archer. And Shooting Star. I only play Degeneration for the major brutality buff, so I can use the heroism potions. In dungeons or raids, if you have access to major brutality, thanks to molten armaments for example, then you could use the orb, mystic orb, it needs 1 to 2k more dps, than the generation. Ray is still done more, best in slot, followed by Khajiit. Mondus the thief, extra good bait. And in food the green max stamina food. We can easily sustain it now with those magic abilities. Attribute points, 64 points in stamina and potions, like I said, the heroism potions. CPs, Tomaturge, Master Darm, Spiting Aura and Backstabber. If you can't flank the enemy, like always, swap Backstabber out for Fighting Finesse. Boundless Vitality, Rejuvenation, Fortified and Celerity. Not much to say about the rotation, it's a full dot rotation with Siphon as semi-spammable and Blast Bones as burst skill, which you should use every third skill. Just an example, Blast Bones into Daddy Cloak, into Siphon, and then reapply Blast Bones again. Keep up all three calf stacks until the end. If one dot expires, reapply it again as soon as possible. If you prefer a classic dot with spam rotation, Swap out Camouflage Hunter or Daily Cloak for Scouts. In the most dungeon or raid contents, it will be probably even better with a spammable because of those short boss fight durations. A full dot rotation is better in Queen's Aegis, as I know, for example, or in general static longer boss fights. So it's up to you. If you have questions, type them down below and I will leave you with the pass. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!